everybody and welcome back to another Star Stable video. Now I'm just going to quickly go into some explanations and stuff. If you want to skip it and just get into the video, just go to this time. Um, but otherwise, here's my explanations. Okay, so I have been doing more Star Stable content recently. As I've said previously, it's been for a mix of reasons. It's been, I've been getting good feedback. Um, I'm really enjoying making them. And also, I've had some technical difficulties with my um, new setup, so, you know, in between solving those, I, I still want to post if I can, and, you know, Star Stable's really fun to film and stuff, so I post that instead. But it it's always been my intention to not, like, do too much Star Stable, because I realise, you know, it's a very niche audience. <laughs> and I love you guys but you know I understand it's niche um so I always wanted to like have a good balance of star stable and non-star stable content um but this week I was fully ready to film a traditional ASMR video and then I ran into something and I was like oh I can't fix this in time so here we are back on star stable uh, but yeah, hopefully I will have a more traditional video for you next week. But for you guys who are really enjoying my Star Stable content, well, good news for you, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so today we are going to be doing the relatively new update. <laughs> it's um, the sort of path progression update thing. And I do want to talk about it, but let me just ride over there. Um, I'm actually filming this in the daytime, but I thought, you know, night in the Hollywoods is such a good vibe with the lamps and stuff, and also um, with the fireflies. So, yeah, I kind of thought that that would be um, good. Um, so, here it is. Um, so, this <laughs> okay, uh, the update came out yesterday for me. I'm a little bit addicted to it. I don't know if you can tell, um, but I've just done the Path of Whimsy so far. I imagine level 4, level 5 and level 6 will come um, next week, I imagine, um, unless it's a glitch, but I, I have a feeling it's not a glitch. I think the news page did say like you can unlock more stuff next week so I think I've done all I can for Path of Whimsy for this week and um yeah I'm really quite addicted um <laughs> uh so my plan today is to start the Path of Runology I have un I did unlock this because I thought the card and powders would really come in handy um, but other than that, as you can see, I've not unlocked anything, and uh, Path of Terror isn't even available yet, so that's really exciting. But yeah, I was originally planning to, like, do as much as I could, like, get fully unlock everything to level 3 in this video, but I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of time, so we're just gonna see how far we can get. But let's start, so we need 75 for this. Um, to unlock this. Uh, 75 light, that is. Um, and I actually have enough garden powders to go trade, so let me go over to what I think is the best trade spot and go get some light. Today we're riding on Amber Breeze. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy. I've, I've only got, um, five horses, I think including this one train before I've trained every single horse I own. So that's really exciting. Um, but then I, I, I will be getting a Christmas horse, so, you know. <laughs> I can't remember this one's non-Jorvik name. Um, yeah, wish I could, but I really don't know what it is. It might just be Amber, actually. I have a feeling it's just Amber. Oops. Uh, Oh, maybe it's... I mean, maybe I would have named it Golding Amber. I don't know. I can't remember. I thought I thought this horse's name was Amber, but I don't know. <laughs> I 
I guess I, I should um, check. Maybe I'll put it. I'll put it on screen. <laughs> um, yes, but very, very, very pretty horse. Okay, where am I? <laughs> I've completely. I've already forgotten where I was going. Um, I find it quite difficult to find the train spots. Okay, um, so I obviously unlocked the wisps thing where you're, you, you're supposed to get, I think it's 20 light as well as, um, I can't remember how much horse XP, some horse XP, but as you can see, it, it's a bit glitched at the moment. Um, my light just didn't change just then, but I do still get the horse XP. So I do collect them most of the time, but it, yeah, it's I'm a little bit slower collecting um, wisps. I mean, collecting uh, light at the minute because, as I said, I can't um, get light from it, and so I have to just stick to the fireflies, which only give you one light per firefly. So. I have progressed quite far, but it has taken a lot longer than technically it should have. I think the glitch started when I unlocked the ability to gain horse XP from the wisps. I did, it did quickly fix with a, a, a briefly fix with a relog, like I, I relogged and it was giving me light again, but then it quickly went back to being broken. I've reported it to the team, as I'm sure lots of other people have by now, um, and I'm sure they'll get working on it soon. It's not a big issue, but I thought I would mention it in case you guys are having the same struggle. <laughs> Hi, it's editing me. Uh, I just wanted to say that this bug has now been fixed, um, so if you ha were having troubles with it after you unlocked the Horse XP upgrade, just know that now you, if you collect the wisps, you will get horse XP and light. So yeah, it's all good now. Um, <laughs> it was fixed like a few hours after I finished filming this video. Um, so very well done to the Star Stable team for getting it sorted so quickly. Um, I do mention the bug uh, probably like a few more times in this video. Um, but just know that it is all sorted now, so, yeah, anyway, back to the video. I keep forgetting that I'm sure it's supposed to be, um, finding a trading thing, it's just so, um, automatic for me to chase these fireflies now, I've been doing it so much. Um, okay. No, there's no one here. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's gonna disappear. Okay. I don't... I don't remember where the best trade I've seen was, which isn't very helpful, so I guess I'll just ride around collecting fireflies until I find, um, the one. Anyway, um, so this type of game, like, gameplay, this, like, path progression thing, I'm so stunned at that people added it um because i don't know i just never expected them to add that kind of gameplay um it's super cool like i have loved that kind of path progression thing for a really long time the best example i can think of that i've played is um child of light child of light is a very fun um I actually don't know what it, what it, I guess it's an RPG. Is it an RPG? But anyway, it's a, <laughs> it's a storyline based game and I played it as a, as a, as a child myself, um, with my sibling on, uh, the Wii U and the game. I don't know why it might have been because, well, 
um, the company that made Wii U abandoned Wii U, and then um, a lot of its players also abandoned it because of that. Uh, it's a whole thing, don't even worry about it. Anyway, it might be because of that, it might be because we found other things to play, I don't know. But then a few years ago, I got it on the Switch, and I still haven't finished it. <laughs> I should, but I'm really bad at finishing games. I've discovered this about myself recently, like, I'm very much all or nothing, rather than, like, you know, I, I wish I was more sort of, oh, I can do a little bit of that today, plus a little bit of that, plus a little bit of that, but I'm more like, right, I will do this most of the day, um, <laughs> and, and, and try and finish it as quickly as possible, not because I want it to end, but because it's just... I get into the zone and then I'm not, I don't come out of it. It's a thing, but um, I'm really bad, that means I'm really bad at finishing games. Um, which is maybe why I like Star Stable so much because, well, not the only reason, but it's sort of like, um, you know, it, it does have a storyline to, I guess, complete, but the storyline isn't complete yet. And, you know, there's weekly updates and you can finish them, you know, at your own leisure and stuff like that. I mean, apart from timed events, but that's, that's the whole thing. And I, I enjoy events a lot. Like, I, I do make sure to log on. Unless, <laughs> I guess last year at Halloween I was quite busy, so I, did, I actually didn't do Halloween last year. But you can bet that I really did it this year. So I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, I just... I struggle to, you know, <laughs> uh, balance things, funnily enough, as, we were, as I was saying earlier. Um, anyway, uh, Child of Light, <laughs> yes. Um, so I haven't finished it yet, but that has a sort of path where you unlock nodes and all that kind of stuff. And it's just one of my favourite types of gameplay, and I really love how Star Stable's done it. I also love that you can unlock getting one horse XP from each firefly. Very cool, because I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I'm just gonna want to do this, you know, I'm not... I mean, I, I love training so much, but I'm not really in the zone for it right now. I just want to do this. So it's cool that you still get some XP from doing this, and you also get it from, like, the little quests that you can unlock. Um, I haven't found a trading station thing, <laughs> have I? Mm, okay, wait, I think I remember where one is, but I can't remember if it's the one that I want. But let me, I'll, I'll go, I'll just go head over there. We're collecting... <laughs> we have enough now to unlock the first thing anyway. Um, so I don't know what the path of Runeology, you know, what you have to do, I haven't seen any of it. Um, I, I was watching the Just Another Pixel live stream, um, and she started unlocking the path of Runeology, um, but I don't know, for, I, I, I can't remember why, but I didn't, I didn't really see what happened, um, at that Part, so I, I'm still in the dark <laughs> about what I'm going to be doing. I need to stop chasing fireflies. I need to head to what are they called? Are they the trapped satchels? I was a bit confused by the trap satchel thing. Um, but I, I guess, I guess they must be. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, does this tree have a trading? No. Um, so, also, another reason for making this video now is because next week I definitely want to do a, a, an in real life kind of video, you know, a traditional ASMR type of video, um, and I just, I kind of, I feel like, so if, if, okay, let's say if this week I decided not to do um so I'll see if I just decided to not post anything the next week I would definitely feel like right let's get let's get a traditional ASMR video out 
And then the week after that is, um, we're entering December and like, I still want this update to feel fresh. Like I'm, it, it only came out, yeah, yesterday. <laughs> Just had to double check that. It was only yesterday this update came out. Um, obviously it's been a couple of days for you guys, but you know, it's fresh and everyone's doing it. And I feel like when we get into December, people are going to be really excited for the Christmas updates, which I am too. <laughs> so I wanted this to like feel like it was at a good time, if that makes sense. You know, like it's fresh, it's fun, you know, we're not, we're not quite at the Christmas stuff yet and we're kind of just focusing on Hollywoods and I, I thought it would be a good time to post it instead of like, I wouldn't post it next week and then the week after that I just think it's like a little bit late if, if that makes sense so th that's another reason to be patient this now I, i'm sorry i am still looking for this trading point i keep getting distracted because i'm talking my brain's doing a weird thing at the minute where i'm really struggling to multitask uh i'm usually like all right at multitasking but at the moment like if i start talking i, I really can't go concentrate on other things which is why firefly hunting is so good oh here's a trade thing and a new no that's it's not gonna cut it that's not enough <laughs> the highest i've seen is 138 so i'm just looking for one that says 138 124 i mean that's not bad but let me just do this exciting update or anything like that like it would be fun <laughs> and I will definitely do some of them but I really wanted to cover this one like I wasn't intending to because I covered the um the actual update of Hollywood but then this one came out I was like this is one of my favorite gameplay mechanics like I really want to do a video on this and I just think it's really relaxing to ride around and collect these fireflies that make a really nice noise so yeah, um, yes, I was gonna say something else, but it has completely left my brain. Maybe it will come back to me at some point. Oh, it has, perfect. Um, so, with the festive updates, I am planning to do, I think, one video. I think I'll do one master sort of video, sort of like I did with um halloween i think i'm gonna do that um i don't know exactly when i don't know how i'm gonna like film it or whatever but i i am planning to make like a festive video that's gonna hopefully be super cozy and yeah i mean maybe i would do more than one but it, I, I feel like it's likely that i'll do one we'll see we'll see close to the time and how the updates are i completely lost where that wisp went but it's okay because it doesn't give me light Anyway, <laughs> um, I swear there was one here. I swear there was a trading point here. <sighs> okay, I really need <laughs> to find these trading points. Oh, by the way, uh, I did finally find Birdie <laughs> the other day. Just, um, not not that long after I recorded my update, actually. Um, yeah, I found Birdie. Very cool. I'm glad they updated Birdie. Oh, okay, no, yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know what I really like about this update, apart from everything? <laughs> 
But you know what I really like? I really like that you you can unlock things for the shop, right? I, but I love that you can pay for them with light. Like, that's great because I, I kind of half expected you to unlock something in the shop and then it'd be like, pay with tons of your big shillings or or just like a lot of star coins and I'm like, mm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. But because it's light, I I can really see myself like getting all the items. I think it's really cool. Um, you know, and it's it's like a, definitely a, a a big motive to unlock everything. I mean <laughs> I'm already motivated to do that. But it's just cool. I don't know where these trading spots are. I'm so bad at this. I keep getting distracted by the very pretty fireflies. I'm just like, I want to chase fireflies, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, maybe I think we saw uh, one for 120. Maybe we should just go for that one. I mean, I can unlock the first thing anyway, <laughs> so. Why am I am I doing this? But, um, yeah. You know, I really can't remember. I remember a little while ago I filmed a Star Stable video that, like, reacted to the new, um, U UI. That's the right way around, right? It's not my, no, it's UI. Um, but I remember also that there was a Star Table video that I filmed on the wrong settings so I couldn't post it. So I can't remember if the one I um the one I posted was the UI one or not. Anyway, I was gonna say, I think I initially was like, oh my goodness, this is so cool, like it's so different to the UI. Um, it tends to be, <laughs> a lot of the time that's my initial reac reaction, I'm just like, oh it's new, <laughs> it's new, it's cool. Um, but I know that they are planning to, like this isn't the final state of it, you know, um, they will m like make it more, I imagine, stylized and stuff like that. Um, and I'm glad about that because although initially I was like, oh that's cool, I feel like now I'm like I I do miss the old UI a lot. I think this does look. I was watching just another pixel when when the U, UI came out, and she said that, like it kind of makes her think of like an app game, and I was like, dang, <laughs> you're kind of right. Like I I kind of don't <laughs> I kind of don't like the UI anymore. Um, but I know that like it's it's. It's not the end result, it's just something that they had to implement um, in the meantime. So obviously I'm not I'm not judging them for this. Um, but I thought I would give kind of update thoughts in case that video did did see the light of day, which it might have. Um, yeah, I'm kinda like I don't yeah, I don't like it anymore. I do, it does make me think of an app game. I feel like it's a bit cluttered, the spacing is weird. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't give the, the classic kind of Star Stable vibes. I mean, not that it has to give classic specifically Star Stable vibes, but it doesn't really, I feel like it doesn't fit with the game. But as I said, it is just something that they've had to implement for the meantime. So I'm excited to see what they do with it in the end. And I'm really glad to have like horse progression, like, which is, yeah, I'm like, this stuff is very cool. Anyway, I am so sorry that I, we're probably quite far into this video already and I have not done the first thing that I said I would do. Um, yeah, I have seen one for 138, but I really can't find it. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to go for the 121 because that's not bad. You know, it's fine. I like collecting fireflies anyway, so... You know, I might have to film this video in two parts. I'm not too sure, but um, I really haven't done anything yet, it feels like, and I'm already running out of time. So, oh. okay.
Okay, yeah, I'm only four. That's not, that's not bad. Wait, I didn't know it gave you that much horse XP. That was cool. Okay, so now we have, wow, 340 light. That is, <laughs> that is very cool. So let's go over and spend it and unlock some stuff. There's a pathway. So, first thing. these things, these two sort of blocks here, um, and then I prioritised the quests, and then I prioritised, wait what's this? Okay, no I, di I did also prioritise these, but I can't remember in what order, um, and then these were like a last thing that I did, like unlocking the actual items. Let's have a look. names Petra no no chance Petra <laughs> I do actually own Petra um but yeah you go in search of them hunting waters will o wisps have a ten tendency to collect little treasures they find when they game of hide and seek and they might just reward you with a garden powder wisps have, have a chance to reward with garden powder when caught now that in hollow woods. These runestones were placed a very long time ago to stabilise and measure the flow of magical energy from Pandoria. Maintaining the runestones is an essential druidic task. Now it's time for you to learn how to stabilise the runestones. Meet me at the runestone close to, close to the river. Runestones requires a sacrifice. Don't worry, we figured out oh, uh, figured out a long time ago that the preferred item is garden powder. It is the key to several things around here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm glad I unlocked that little thing then. You might be lucky to find garden powder when exploring hollow woods or when exchanging goods with our merchants near the Motherstone. But lucky for you, I have some with me right now. Go ahead and approach the runestone. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, this is kind of exciting. One glyph appears on top of the runestone. Find the corresponding glyph in the nearby area to complete the challenge. The fork on the ground limits the area when the, where the glyph can be found. Okay, I need to read that. I read it, but I didn't take it in, so let me just read it in my head. Okay, yeah, fine. Got it. Brilliant. Do you see the glyph that appeared on top of the runestone? You must find the duplicate of this glyph or, or pattern in the flow of energy surrounding the runestone. The energy is marked by the magical fog, 
so search within the fog. Why don't you look around for the glyphs and activate them? Okay, so we're looking- oh, we're looking for that. That little thing. Um, alright. Oh, yeah, that's one. Okay, yeah, okay, it's very easy, so I guess that's why there's, there's just one for this time. Okay, perfect. As you become more familiar with the runestones, you'll learn that the glyph puzzles are not always so straightforward. Sometimes the stabilisation will require more, of, more from you. Soon you can stabilise more runestones than hollow roads. Meanwhile, stay vigilant. It's important work. Well, thank you, Jade. That's a very, very lots of fun. <laughs> it's very, very lots of fun. Yeah. Um, cool. So, we need... 150, I guess, for the next thing. Um, yeah, so I guess let's just go and collect, um, collect fireflies and, and just get light, you know? Oh, um, just quickly before we go and, we don't actually need that many more, but before we do that, I want to show you guys this, right? So, I don't wear makeup in real life, and my characters tend not to wear makeup, um, just because I like, you know, it, it's sort of like, it is a character that I, that I like to create, but it's also, in some ways, it in some ways resembles me, right? Um, so, anyway, I haven't used any makeup and self-tape apart from like, I guess this is makeup technically, but I try to find like the least amount of makeup possible. I don't know if there's even less than this, there might be, I just haven't found it. Anyway, look at these makeup looks, both of them. Both of them are gorgeous. This one is literally a galaxy, like an iridescent galaxy, and this one uh, is my two favourite colours, and also it kind of looks a little bit spacey to me, or a bit alien. Uh, well, it doesn't have to, but that's what it can re uh, represent to me because of how I picture this character. And I really want both of them, and I don't know which one I would wear, because um, I would wear both. But I guess I could switch it up based on an outfit, maybe? But just, just no. You bet. You bet that I will be getting <laughs> these makeup looks at some point because they're so perfect for my character. I I love them. They're so pretty. Anyway, um, there's also the hairstyle. I don't want the hairstyle personally, but I think it is pretty cool. I really like that sort of ombre, um, dip dye kind of look. Very cool. Anyway. Oh, and I haven't bought anything from the shop yet, even though I've unlocked some stuff, but I'll show you that as well. Um, so it's just this that I've unlocked, I think, the uh, subtle bag. Okay, better look, hang on. Subtle bag and the <laughs> earrings, which you're not really going to be able to see, I don't think. Um, but I will, I will definitely be buying these at some point because they cost light, which is just really cool. Um, yes. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing from this shop yet, but anyway, let's go just collect a few more fireflies. I'm definitely going to have to film this in two parts because um, I have to stop in a minute, um, but it's fine, you, you, won't, you won't even notice, apart from the fact I'll say, hi, I'm back, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah. Collecting fireflies. Oh, I went to see the new ballad of Songbirds and Sn Why can't I get that? What? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna ignore it. Um, the new ballad of Songbirds and Snakes movie. I loved it. My my wife said that it's been getting some bad reviews, but I don't know if that's just like 
what was in her feed, I don't know. But, um, I'm a little bit surprised. But anyway, I loved it, personally. Um, I won't give any spoilers or anything. Um, I just wanted to say that I really enjoyed it. And if you want to go <laughs> back into that Hunger Games phase, you do it, you know. <laughs> um, I did read the book before watching the movie. I read the book last year. And so I knew what was coming. Um, but it really didn't, like, I, I, I thought maybe it might negatively affect my experience because it's like, you know, it, it, it kind of feels like something you've seen before, even though you haven't seen it before, but oh my goodness, it was an amazing experience because they've literally done it exactly how I pictured. So, really cool. <laughs> Let's get the next thing. So, what have we got? So we got Dear Mystery Level 1. Um, easy difficulty challenges, rune carving puzzles, hmm, I don't know which is better, what, what's this, so, okay, that's a new carving technique, and, okay, I think I will unlock this first, then, yay, okay, let's go see, so, did you have to like exchange a garden powder to do? Okay. So I see. Okay, so that's why I, I was kind of confused why you could buy garden powder and it was like it wasn't worth it to then trade it, but I guess you buy garden powder for this type of thing. Um, so you get light. Is there any other? I guess it's just to get light, which is, it is good. I wonder how much very hard it's going to reward if this rewards 25. Hmm, okay, well let's do easy. Uh, yeah, it's the same. So we're looking for, I'm guessing, pattern. So it's hook lightning percentage. That's what I'm going to call it, hook lightning percentage. Um, that's lightning and percentage. Where's hook? Um, where are you? Oh, oh dear. Do I lose that? Oh no, you, okay. Thank you, Star Stable. <laughs> I didn't realise. Um, oh no, now it's changed. Okay, so it's, um, mountain... Harp, mountain harp, signpost, mountain harp, signpost. <laughs> huh. Okay, there's mountain. Oops. Mountain. The signpost is just there, so where's harp? Because it's harp, signpost. I imagine you have to do them in order. Don't see why you wouldn't do them in order. I think I think I think the game said you had to do them in order. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, oh, there it is. Mountain harp signpost. Yeah, we did it. We got 25 light from that, so that's, okay, that's really cool. Oh, wait, hang on, um, so it now costs three. Does it go up every time you do it, or? Oh, okay, that's interesting. Why? um, okay. <laughs> Oh, this is a shared moment. There is a bug passing around Amber, Bre Amber Breeze's face. Um, I'm going to lean over and shoo the bug away. Because I feel like we're in Hollow Woods. I don't want to kill the bugs in Hollow Woods. You know, they're, they're important to the <laughs> environment of Hollow Woods. Um, but uh, I, don't, I don't want them bothering my horse. 
So I will show you the book on the way. That is, that, that is literally the reason behind my thinking. <laughs> right, so I'm really the worst person to do maths, but let me just, okay. So if I spent 50, that gets me one of those, which means I would then, I could get 25 back, which is half of what I have. So it's not worth it. Correct? <laughs> it's not worth it to do it again. So I, I want to be getting stuff to... Um, nope. No. I want to be getting stuff to unlock the next uh, node thing. So... I don't know what I want next, honestly. I think, I think I will get this one next, so anyway, they both cost 150, so let's go and try and get some more fireflies. Um, yeah. If you have watched the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, <laughs> uh, feel free to tell me what you thought of it, without spoilers though, I don't want to spoil it for other people. Um, but yeah. I'm interested to hear what people thought. As I said, I loved it. <laughs> what do we think of this outfit, by the way? I think it's... I'm actually really happy with it. Like, at first I was like, I'm not sure if this is going too well. But then, I... I don't know, something changed. I put something on and I was like, never mind, I really like this. Yeah, I'm personally very proud of this outfit. I am... Um, I was trying to capture sort of druidic wood vibes, so <laughs> I kind of I didn't I didn't take a lot of the items from this, but I did copy sort of an outfit I made the other day when I I just came here to take lots of pictures, and so I made an outfit to go with that, and so I did take a few items from that, but you know. I like both outfits, you know, separately. I think I think they're they're both good in their own right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need to <laughs> keep like figuring out the maps and like what I should do with the garden powders, whether I should trade, whether I should um do the the puzzles. I don't know. I imagine like, I feel like with the puzzle, surely it's, like, best to just do the new difficulty once, and then... Oh, no, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask my wife. She's much better at maths than I am. <laughs> mm. It's fun, though. I like the puzzles. Let's go. Where have you gone? Wait, where did that? Oh, there it is. Oh no. Okay. I keep getting caught on rocks in Hollywood. I don't mind because they're very pretty. <laughs> but I do keep getting stuck on them. So, what do you guys think of this update? Please do let me know because, um,. I don't know, I feel like it, it, this type of thing is not something we've seen in Star Stable before. It is a unique um, type of gameplay. I mean, <laughs> unique. It is in a lot of games, but it's, you know, it's sort of... What I mean is, it's not in, it's not been in Star Stable before. You know, it's too Star Stable, it's unique. Okay, we finally got that. Anyway. So, do you guys enjoy it? Are you, like, doing it a lot at the minute? Um, or is it kind of not your thing? Are you deciding to kind of leave it and get on with other stuff? Are you doing it slowly? Are you doing it fast? Are you enjoying it? Have you encountered that type of gameplay before? I'd like to hear your thoughts. It can be, honestly, send me, send me a big paragraph if you want 
just like a sentence. I am genuinely curious. I'm just, I, I love this update. I mean, I love updated color words and this update just means that I really want to ride around it all day. <laughs> um, well, not all day. I do have adult responsibilities, <laughs> but apart from that, you know, I'm just here. I'm just really loving it. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm collecting 150, aren't I? Cool. I don't know if I'm doing this in the smartest way. Like, again, I, re I probably need to double check my maths and stuff. But I'm just gonna have a nice time just collecting fireflies, you know? Sometimes I cut out silences because I feel like sometimes the silences don't feel intentional um, and sometimes I leave them in even though they weren't intentional. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes they just feel right even though they weren't intentional. And the reason I leave them in though is because I really love the sound effects of this game and obviously I've turned them down um, so they're not too loud or you know they're not competing with my voice um but you know when i go silent you know you can just listen to them and they're so nice it's the, the, one of the main reasons i started doing star table content for asmr is just the sound effects of this game so like i do want you guys to hear it <laughs> if that makes sense i do i do like that's why i leave in silences so that you can appreciate them um as well as you know, I, I again, I, I've said this in previous videos, but, you know, ASMR, it's a different type of thing. I'm not editing to be funny. I'm not editing to be, like, super entertaining all the time. I'm ed editing it so that it is relaxing and um, calming and, and etc. You know, it's, uh, it's meant to be sort of slow, sort of the stuff you would cut out of normal gaming videos, a lot of that stuff you keep in for ASMR, in my opinion. I mean, I, it's what I do. Um, I just really like to have long chill, not too um, highly edited <laughs> videos, you know? Having said that, I am kind of... I can't remember if I really said... I can, I can never remember if I've said something or I've just thought it while I've been filming. But, um, I do kind of want to do a video, a Star Stable video, where I, um, edit it as if I am a gaming YouTuber, right? Because it would take me a lot longer to edit, like a lot longer, uh, and probably a lot longer to film as well. But I think it would be a fun experiment, like, still be talking in a small voice, but, like, edit it, like a, like a funny gaming video, like, put in things, effects, stuff like that. Are you guys interested in that? Like, it wouldn't be super long, it would probably be between 12 and 17 minutes, usually, yeah, I think probably, like, 15 to 16 minutes, right? Would you guys like to see that? Would you like to see an ASMR video but edited in like a proper gaming style? Let me know. I really can't remember if I've, I've already said that in a video. I might have. Oh, something else I want to do, Star Saber related. Um, I have lots of reputation quests and I think it would be great to actually do them like I don't know if I could do a video where I managed to complete all of them, like filmed over lots of different days. Um, or if I just do one video where I go through all of these um, and complete the ones I can in a day and the other ones, you know, just do the daily quest that they relate to. But I, I definitely think I want to do that at some point. I think that would be fun. Pro 
probably in the new year probably after christmas because i mean i might i might um change my mind but you know i am trying to balance content and i'm hopefully going to sort out my technical issues soon um so i'm hoping like this video and then in december there'll be a, a festive one of these um you know it might it's probably gonna be one video but it might be a couple i don't know and then in the new year do um a reputation video would, would that be interesting i think i'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> i kind of kind of really want to do that so yeah who knows maybe that could be the highly edited video <laughs> i don't know Okay, let's unlock this next little thing here. Oop. Here we go. Oop. Jeez, it's a lag spike. Maybe there's, there's probably lots of people around this area. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna unlock this. Maybe a little bit boring, but. I don't know, I, anywhere I can get horse XP, <laughs> I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, um, but yeah, these still cost, you know, three, um, garden powders, so I'm not gonna do them just yet, also, I've been collecting these seeds from, um, the leaf piles, and as this suggests, uh, perhaps can be planted at a later date and I seem to remember there's something, I can't remember if it was the news page or the game blog um, but I think we're getting gardening uh, I think just another pixel might have mentioned it as well at some point probably but if we're getting like gardening my little soul will be so happy I love gardening in games I don't love it so much in real life <laughs> I've tried to be the person that loves gardening in real life I'm just not in games, that is my bread and butter. <laughs> you know, oh, just so good. Okay, let me just get this wisp, and then I'm gonna have to take my little break. Nice. Did we get? We did get a garden powder from that, I think. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go, but I'll be right back. Well, hello there. I am back. Um, I don't really know how much longer I'm going to film, to be honest, because I do need to get this video up tomorrow and I need time to edit it and also I do have stuff to do, but um, I have a little bit longer anyway, so let's just do what we can. Let's do a good gallop. I mean, we are in a beautiful forest. I'm sure Amber Breeze wants to just ride around and expel some of that energy. I mean, I don't blame him. Like, I would do the same. Gilding, right? <laughs> I was pretty sure. I did check earlier. Um, I mean, not that it matters, I guess. Like, you can, I th I'm pretty sure you can change the can you change that actually? Oh yeah, you can. Um, so if I for some reason felt like this horse was giving me um, uh, a different gender vibes, then I could change it. But um, I like to get it right while, <laughs> like when I've set it. You know what I mean? I've always loved um, virtual pet games. I really can't remember. <laughs> I really can't remember what I talked about in videos before, but I've always really loved virtual pet games. Um, they, like, I always gravitate towards them. Ones where you can really bond with the pet, or, like, dress them up, or, you know, even just naming something, like, being able to name a pet. I've always loved it. I loved Nintendogs as a kid. Okay, yeah. I loved Nintendogs as a kid, and, um... Uh, 
I don't know, I had a lot of app games that were virtual pets. I mean, this isn't like, it's not really, it doesn't really fall into my virtual pet category because it's, it's a lot more than that, being an uh, MMORPG. But, it, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, I love Nintendo and all that kind of stuff. I had so many kind of virtual pet type of games. Um, but, um, <laughs> I'm saying this because I wanted to tell a story from my childhood. Um, so I have a family dog and, you know, I, I really wanted him and I was very happy when we got him and I love him so much. <laughs> um, one time I was playing Nintendogs, right, we had guests over, I literally do not remember who it was, it's just like family friends. Yeah, okay, guess over, and I was paying attention to my Nintendogs and not my actual dog. I mean, he didn't need attention. He he was getting attention from other people, but <laughs> you know, I was sitting there playing Nintendogs, not looking at my actual dog, <laughs> and I just I, I was just told like, why why are you why are you playing with your virtual dog? and not with your real dog and I was just like I love them both, can I not just love them both? <laughs> I don't know um, just a random sto story from my childhood um, yeah I think, you know, also this because the responsibility of the dog really fell to my my dad anyway I mean, I love that dog so much and will give him lots of strokes and you know walk him and, and stuff like that but really you know especially as a kid responsibility was my dad <laughs> so you know i i had a responsibility in nintendo dogs to look after those dogs whereas i didn't really have that same responsibility with the family dog you know <laughs> oh random story times we love them we love them my guinea pigs rustling about. I was like, what was that noise? It was probably CJ. <laughs> I've just given us some food. Yeah. I'm really excited for the Christmas updates. I'm really excited for the festive forces and everything. You know, I, <laughs> I was kind of like, I was like, you know, I kind of feel like watching um, like, the Just Another Pixel Christmas videos from, like, two years ago. Um, so I've been doing that, just to get in the, the festive spirit, you know, it's almost December, and I'm really feeling, like, cosy gameplay vibes is great, and because she's made so many videos at Christmas, it's even better, so I'm re-watching them at the moment, uh, and it's great, because I really loved the one she did two years ago, she did, um, I think it was, yeah, 25 days of Advent, so... Her viewers like picked her videos for 25 days and she didn't know what she was doing until she like opened an advent calendar super cool and i don't know just really good vibes kind of you know like i i i love um sort of watching youtubers older content i i mean i love watching the new content because they've like improved and they've changed things and they've developed but the old content often has just this vibe to it, like, it's maybe, I don't know, it's like, it, it just really radiates cosy energy, they might be a bit shyer, like, they might be speaking a bit more quietly, um, they might have a different editing style, you know, I don't, there's just, like, there's a lot of things that I just love watching a YouTuber's older content, as well as the new content, but you know, it's nice to go back and watch it. Um, and this this uh, 25 days thing is just great because it's that kind of older cosy vibe, um, and also Christmas cosy vibes. I really like the music she used, and I feel like she put so much effort into like the setup and everything. It's just very cool. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling on, but um, I, I do recommend that if you want to go check it out i don't really know i don't think there's a playlist i made a playlist but it's like a, it's a private playlist 
Um, so I don't think there's an actual, maybe there is a playlist that she made, but I think if you just search like just another pixel advent maybe, I think it was two years ago, I think it was um, 2021, pretty sure. But anyway, I'm sure you can find it if you're interested. Um, obviously there's also one she did, um, oh maybe it's like three years ago now, wait, oh, no, this years confuse me so much sometimes. Anyway, she did some, I think, after the advent, like the year after the advent, and she's also obviously done some in 2022, so I don't know, you can find all of them. I might have got the dates a bit mixed up, but I'm sure you can find what you're looking for if you're interested. <laughs> I'm so bad at I, I am genuinely so bad at maths and dates and stuff. It's uh, it's not great. I try my best, but I get a little bit confused. When I was a kid, I was always confused about the thing where, and this is going to sound really obvious, but the fact that, <laughs> like, um, I I don't I couldn't get it into my head that if someone was born in the year before they were older, that, that I know that doesn't make any sense, but I really struggled to grasp that concept for a really long time for some reason. I do grasp it now, <laughs> you know. I am an adult, um, and maybe all kids like struggle with that concept. But I, I don't know, it just, it, I thought of it the other day, I was like, wow, I really didn't understand, like, how birthdays worked. <laughs> I just couldn't wrap my head around, like, I think it's because the year is less. And so I was, like, connecting that to me, like, oh, the year is less, so the age is less. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I don't know why you're getting a bunch of random stories from my childhood, but <laughs> there we are. We are getting close to unlocking another node, which is good. I really can't believe that I've almost trained all my horses. Like, I don't have that many. I have about 30 old, like 32. But, you know, it's it's taken me a while. <laughs> and I, I thought it would probably take even longer when I started. But yeah, I can't, I can't believe I'm almost there now. It's like crazy. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss it, because training is one of my favourite things. But, having said that, like, not only will I obviously get horses in the future, like, I'll save up and I'll get horses, and then I'll have new horses to train, but also, um, it will mean that I will ride horses that I haven't ridden in ages, because I trained them ages ago. And... I told you that I have reputation quests and so I can like concentrate on them like every day I'll log on to do the reputation if I don't like I don't, um, whether I make a video about it or not you know and you know there's there's just lots of things I, I still have to do druid training um ah oh, that's a good point <laughs> I'm not gonna want to do druid training if I'm on a max horse okay maybe I would leave druid training for when I had horses to train, because otherwise that's good XP going to waste. <laughs> anyway, um, but I still have that, and also I want to build, um, I want to build, like, reputation, um, with factions. I really want to focus on doing that, so instead of training, I guess I'll do the, like, the daily chores and stuff, so I'm kind of interested to see what that's going to be like, because I've, I've not like, had no training to do, <laughs> ever, basically, because I didn't know about training until last year, I don't ask how, played the game since 2016, did not realise that training was an aspect of the game until last year, um, seriously, I don't know how it passed me by, but I did not know, I just thought it was, like, quests, and then, I don't know what else, I just thought it was quests and horse buying and I don't even know. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so, since I discovered training, I've had, you know, constant training to do. <laughs> I st I st 
I'm still baffled. How did I not know? How how did I miss that? I don't know. Also focus on the quest, I guess. Um and I play Stealth Haven like a lot more now. Like before it was kinda of like the Sims where I'd play it constantly for a bit and then not play it at all for quite a while. Sort of like I was saying earlier about how I struggle to it's like all or nothing. But now I play it all the time, I guess because I've figured out that there's more to do than just quests. <laughs> so I play it all the time. I mean, obviously, there are days where I don't play it, but, it, you know, I play it quite a lot, is my point. Um, so what was my... Why, why was I saying this? Oh yeah, so I guess maybe I didn't discover the training because I was just not playing it a lot and I was focusing on quests. Um, but yeah, and then I discovered... I, I was in a phase of it again and I discovered just another pixel last year and I was like oh, there's so much more to this game than I knew and also it's like great because I have somebody's content to watch I feel like you know I don't know anyone who plays this game so it's nice to have that sense of community I say that I do have a club with two members in it but I met them like after discovering just another pixel and stuff um, anyway, that's, that's, that's the point. That's, that's, stop rambling. That's, that's what I need to do. Okay, so 150. Um, yeah, let's do it. Mm, what's this? I don't know. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, we, we are going to get this next. Uh, learn a new rune carving technique. This adds an optional challenge that increases the rewards of rune carving puzzles. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but anyway, we've just unlocked this, so this is a new puzzle. Here we go. Are you ready to learn more about rune carving? Yes, I am. Carving runes is an important druidic activity. Rune tablets can be found throughout Hollow Woods. They pulse with energy, and each one offers a special kind of challenge. As you begin mastering the rune carving, there are a few things you should know about it. The activity requires patience. Modifying runes is something we take seriously. Now, let's see how you fare with carving this tablet. S study the rune closely and patiently, then carve the rune according to the instructions. Okay. grid sizes. The larger the grid, the more challenging the rune carving will be. Okay. The company has four different techniques. Rotate, flip, shift, and double shift. You are able to choose as many techniques as you want. Begin the rune carving. The more techniques you choose, the greater the reward will be. When the challenge starts, you will see a grid of the symbol on the left side of the screen. Modify the symbol on the grid, in the grid, on the right side of This is one of those things where I'll understand it if I'm doing it, but I won't understand it through text. <laughs> anyway, so I guess we'll just do the smaller size for now. Um, okay, I guess you have to pick one of these, and we, we're with the tutorial, so we're picking this one. Total reward 40. So you get 40, you're not spending 40. All right. Okay. Um, I thought this would be easy when I got into the thing, but actually, I've got no idea what I'm doing. So, no, I'm gonna have to read the rules again. Recovery has four different techniques. 
Great draw to be okay. The sign is green. Modify the symbol and the grid on the right side according to the Okay, I think I get it. Sorry, that's my, <laughs> that's my dishwasher. Um, <laughs> I think I get it. I think. Oh my goodness. Alright. <laughs> it's simple, isn't it? It's this simple, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I always. Oh no, I have to. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Okay, uh, like this, like mirror it, no, okay, I thought I understood, ah, oh. is that meant to be that, am I supposed to be imagining it upside down, but that wouldn't make it, what, <laughs> I'm being really stupid right now aren't I, okay, Sounds your secret with a symbol on the left side of the screen. Modify the symbol in the grid on the right side according to the technique given to you. 90 degrees. Right, oh, I haven't looked at the technique explanation. Um, okay, so rotations require you. Okay, here we are. I shouldn't have ignored this the first time, should I? Oops. Rotation is, rotations require you to rotate the symbol 90 or 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so we've got, is it 90 degrees? 90 degrees rotate to the right. Uh, my brain is a little bit frazzled. But 180 is all the way around, isn't it? <laughs> I don't, I'm not very good at this stuff. And 90 degrees is... Oh no. My brain really struggles with these. Okay, okay, no, all right. So we got that and we just gotta do, I'm just doing a hand symbol with it. So that, imagine that, but turned. So would it be this? Yes, okay, I understand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's just upside down, right? I think that's just upside down. Okay, now my brain understands. I'm sorry, that took me a long time. I'm not very good with degrees. <laughs> Anything kind of mathsy like that? Mm mm mm. Angles? Mm mm mm. Anyway, um, <laughs> I do understand it now though. Um, yeah, I get it. <laughs> that took me far too long. Um, <laughs> but you know, if you if you also struggle with that, just know that you're not alone. My brain is not very good at um, making think uh, like degrees, angles, maths, anything like that. It just really struggles. And then once, once, but once I've remembered, it's like okay, that's fine. You know what I mean? Like once I remembered what ninety degrees looks like, and I understood the prompt. It was fine. Okay. Good work. Now that you've been introduced to rune carving, you may start to notice the tablets located throughout Hollow and so on. As you practice the craft, you will learn more techniques for carving runes. Keep in mind, Luna, patience is key. Okay. I've got a shared moment. Amber Breeze seems unwilling to do anything you ask. Um... I'm going to 
check that Amber Breeze is feeling alright. Yeah. That was fun though. Once I understood it, once I got my head around it, I was like, okay, yeah, I know what I'm doing. This is fine. This is fun. Um, I do, I do genuinely like puzzles. Um, there's a puzzle game I played called called Layton. There's a lot of games in the series, but anyway, um, and I love the puzzles. And then it gets to a maths one, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> But I really enjoy doing them. Like it takes me a bit longer. Uh, but again, like once I've grasped what's being asked of me, and like remember, I have, I have to use my hand to like um, picture it. But once I've done that, I'm like cool. So <laughs> I didn't imagine that I would be showing my my bad um, degree angle math skills in this. But uh, there we are. English was uh, my strong point, <laughs> not maths. Why did I try and click on that leaf pile just then? That, was, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want to find these tablets then. Uh, I don't know if we will uh, before I have to end this video, but I'm kind of curious to find tablets. Um. <laughs> well, it's still fresh in my brain so that we can we can do it. Oh, let's level up. Yeah. Okay, uh, actually let me go back. You know, this, this horse got to level 7 purely by doing daily care. I underestimated how quick it would be to get a horse to like level 7 just by doing daily care for a little bit very cool i guess like the people who don't want to do training it's a great way to do it if you just want to like care for your horses every day very cool so yes i wanted to check something didn't i what was i checking oh yeah <laughs> okay so i can't do this one again that's okay that's fine i just wanted to check and what was this again three for 25 um I mean, they are quite hard to find, I guess you, you don't always have to, do you know what, screw it, maybe it's not as, like, worth it to do this, but I will, I'm gonna do this again, and yeah, sorry, <laughs> still hear the dishwasher going, I didn't really think about that when I set it going, I was just like, need to set the dishwasher going, um, alright, so we got a mountain, Mountain, um, boomerang, and steam. <laughs> uh, mountain. Wait, that is the mountain. Oh no, that's the boomerang. Can I undo? Oh. I did it wrong. Where's the actual mountain? I don't know how, I can't get out of this now, so we should have to find the runes. Here's the mountain, and there's the steam. Oh. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter what order you do it in. I was fully under the impression that you had to do it in the correct order. Well, do you know what? I might still make myself do it in the correct order anyway, because I feel like it adds more of a challenge to it. And I, I, I quite like that, so I will do that. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember how many... Are we me I think we're meant to be getting another 150, right? I think so. I have a little bit longer to film, but this video will end soon. So I'm sorry, we didn't... I did originally uh, want to do like the whole of Runeology that you can do up to this point. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it would take quite a long time, so, you know, once you get to, like, getting 300 uh, fireflies, it does take a while, especially because the wisps are broken, so it's probably unobtainable anyway for this video. Um, but, you know, it's cool. 
how far have you guys got? Um, have you completed? Like, have you have you unlocked all the all the things up to level three that you can so far? Or are you taking it slow? I mean, I asked if you were taking it fast and slow before, but how far have you actually gotten? Interested to know. I'm still, I'm still laughing at myself from that um, puzzle. I, like, I really thought it'd be one of those types of things where I would understand it as soon as I like actually start doing it. I'm like, that's another thing about me. I'm very much like I need to do the thing. I can't just read about it. It doesn't really work. I, I can't like retain the information and then put it into practice for some reason. I'm very much like I need to actually do this thing and then. And then if I read the rules, it will make sense. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, it was it, mm, it took me a little bit, but <laughs> we got there. I'll um I'll have to read about the other techniques when I get there, which will be fun. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about these rune like carving puzzles. I love a puzzle. I love a puzzle. Yeah, I um if you are looking for a puzzle game. I do recommend Layton. They there's a lot of games in the series. I think they have app games. They have, um, which is I don't know why that's the first one to pop into my head because that's not where I play them. Um, I used to play them on the DS, but there's also I think now a couple for the Switch. I have one for the Switch. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for puzzle games, definitely recommend that. Um, it's it's like I mean there's storylines, but it's pretty much like a pure puzzle game, they have loads and loads of puzzles. Um, I'm not like... I was really interested in the storyline in the, uh, the DS later games. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not super invested in the storylines, like the mysteries for the Switch one. Um, that's, I don't think that's the game's fault, I think it's just where I am. I'm like, when I play Layton, I'm like, I don't want a story, I just want puzzles. <laughs> so, I think that's not the game's fault. I think probably the storylines are good, um, but I I tend to skip through the dialogue. I mean, and there's a lot of dialogue, <laughs> so yeah. I'm all right, maybe I should stop skipping through the dialogue. It's just again, when I, whenever I sit down to play it, I'm like, yeah, I kind of just want puzzles. Kind of don't need the story. Oh, I feel kind of bad saying that now. But um, if you are looking for a puzzle game and you also like storylines, then definitely play it. Or if you're like me and you just want the puzzles, you'd have to you'll have to skip through a bit of dialogue. But um, yeah. goodness, I do, feel, I do feel bad about that now. But um, mm, I don't know. I think just when I first started playing late in games, I was just in a very different. I was, I was quite young, so I don't know. My tastes were different, and what I wanted out of games was, was different. Like Star Stable. I play it for a lot of reasons, um, but the storyline is one of them. Mm, one of the main reasons. I mean, one of one of the big reasons why I play it because I really like um, the. I really like this one. I think a lot of RPGs I do ignore the storyline because I'm playing it to quest to actually do the things. Um, but with this one, um, because the questing is quite simple like I I do pay attention to the the story a bit more I did used to not pay as much attention um, but now it's like it's kind of it's kind of the opposite of Layton where now I really am interested in the story as well as doing the questing and before I wasn't super interested in the story but I really liked the questing um, <laughs> I get that's another reason I really like um just another pixel because she does back to the beginning where she goes through all the quests um and that's great because there are some that I don't remember or like rushed through and it's good to go back and also it's pretty nostalgic pretty nostalgic um yeah anyway so questing is the uh, storyline and questing is like big reasons why I play Star Stable but there's also a lot of other reasons, especially now I've discovered training and stuff like that. And I've talked about virtual pets and stuff like that as well. There's just 
there's a lot of reasons. I, I feel like Star Sable is quite unique to me in the fact that, as I was kind of alluding to, there's a lot of games where I sit down and play them for one specific thing um, and might not pay as much attention to other things. Oh, I'm a bad gamer. Anyway, um, but Star Stable has become a game where I, I'm really interested in every aspect of it, which is just great. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, a little side ramble. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's any other games. I mean, I guess Animal Crossing, but there are still parts of that that are, like, much more focused on than other parts. So, I don't know, why am I still collecting? My goodness, I've not been <laughs> looking at how many fireflies I've got. I've got enough to get another thing, so. Dang, I never realised how loud my dishwasher is before. <laughs> That's quite funny. Well, background noise. What can you do? Right, yes. Stop getting distracted. Actually do the thing. Excellent. Um, oh yeah, so th th we're going to land flips, so cool, nice. Um, yes, and this, uh, okay, cool, yeah, so I'll work towards, I think next, yeah, next I'll work towards these, um, these ones here, and then I'll go back to this, and then, oh yeah, what was this? This was, oh no, this was earrings. I swear there was something. Oh, it's this all in it. I think mean, it's 300. And you cried three golden pounds. Yeah, see, I think. Oh, yeah, they are trapped satchels. Okay, I was, oh, I was very confused by that. Um, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So maybe I'll go for that next. And then. Hmm. Yeah, I think go for that next, and then work through that. Mm. Okay, I, I actually have... I have just a little tiny bit longer, so... I will just film for a little tiny bit longer, but we probably won't get enough to... Unlock the next thing before I have to end this, but we'll just ride around, and collect some more fireflies. Very loud birds. <laughs> In the background. Ruining my illusion that this is filmed at night time. <laughs> Come on, there we go. You know, I was, um, I think this is a North Swedish horse, isn't it? Yeah. I. Obviously, I really like this horse because I, I bought it, you know, I, <laughs> I really like the coat colour and stuff. But it is, it's like, it's one of those Gen 3s that doesn't really feel gen 3 it feels like an older model horse and i love the older model horses but you know sometimes i, I want to ride gen 3 because they look so good like star stable has come so far the old gens are so nostalgic and i love them and they're very like i don't know they do make me think of when i was first playing the game and they're um I don't know. I like them a lot. I, 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 in fact, I love them. <laughs> but I often find myself gravitating to the Gen 3s just because of the fact that they are improvements. You know, the animation is improved. The actual, like, model is improved. Everything is great. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I haven't really been motivated to train this horse because it's a Gen 3 that looks like an old model. It looks like a Gen 2. Um, but I gotta say, I kind of regret putting it off. Like, I'm really enjoying this. I, I quite like, um, I don't know, there's just something about it. And I, I've remembered why I bought this horse. <laughs> I just, I really like the coat colour. It's very naturey to me. It kind of feels a little bit festive to me, if I'm honest. Um, I think the model's pretty cool. I like the... Um, I don't know, it looks like it, it would be very soft and cuddly. So, yeah, I should not have put it off. Silly, silly me. <laughs> I'm really excited about that makeup, guys. I can't, I can't lie. I'm really excited to get it at some point. 
point. How much was it? I can't even remember. <laughs> I will get it, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna unlock everything I can unlock and then I'm gonna go through and um, buy all the stuff that I want as well. I'll buy everything from the shop, um, you know, assuming it all costs light, I'll buy all the, um, you know, clothing and what have you. Uh, oh, and then, yeah, because the, the makeup and stuff is your shillings, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll then, like, get back on my training, I guess, and get some Yorvik shilling so I can buy that. I think it's probably going to be the last thing I'll do um, of this um, path update is get that makeup, I imagine. But it will feel like, I feel like a nice sort of end to it, I think. I say end, they'll so probably, I imagine maybe in the future we'll get like another part of it maybe, or something additional. I mean, maybe we wouldn't, but I I feel like if you're going to add a path system like that, you might add to it in the future, or at least have something related to it. Hmm, I don't know. I know we're getting gardening, so I don't know if the gardening will relate to it at all, apart from obviously finding seeds. Um, but that's going to be exciting. I don't know when we're getting that. Um, what am I looking for now? Am I looking for 300 or 150? I can't remember. I think it's 300, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think it's 300. I don't think we'll, we will but well, yeah, we won't get 300 <laughs> before I have to end this video, but... Oh well. I'm, I love Hollowoods so much, like... If you saw my reaction to it, <laughs> you know that I love it, but um... I feel like my love has just increased doing this, um, because, I don't know, like, even though I ride around a lot of the same places, it's like I keep seeing things that I didn't notice before, or, you know, it's a completely different vibe in the daytime than it is at night, and I just love the fact that it's so, I can just tell, like, so much effort has gone into making it, I feel like it just perfectly, to me, represents Hollywoods, like what Hollywoods was always meant to be. Which is perfect. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Great vibes. Very whimsical. Where are you going? I'm gonna come around here. Where are you going now? Oh, into a rock. Here we are. I really wish that glitch would be fixed, because I, I kind of like the idea of getting 20 light. <laughs> it was so glorious while it lasted, because it did, I obviously had it a little bit before I unlocked that one unlock that broke it. Mm, kind of hoping they'll fix it, but also, um, I mean they will fix it, but I, I'm, the, the issue is that I'm also very addicted to this, and so I might have finished everything before they have a chance to fix it, so yeah, but hopefully they'd be able to fix it, like, for next week's update, and so there's more unlocks to do then, so maybe it'll be okay. Anyway, actually I did see, like, one of the, I think, the, like, light you have to collect, I think the light goes up to a thousand, like, on the last tiers. So, I really hope they fix it in time for that, because otherwise it's going to take me a lot longer than it should, but hey, I don't mind actually. If, if it's not fixed, I'll probably still, like, just, like, I won't wait for it to be fixed because I just really am enjoying it, but genuinely I, even if the wisps weren't available for me to use, like, I just really love everything about this and yeah okay well I think I'm gonna have to end this video here so wait I need to find I need to I want to find an aesthetic place to finish off this video because there are so many pretty places in hollow woods um let's go to this archway I think 
this video thank you so much for watching this i hope you enjoyed it um let me know your thoughts down below anything you want to say um yeah i i i love making this video and um yeah i'm really excited about this update i'm <laughs> i'm excited to see what comes next week and obviously very soon we'll get the festive updates i'm very excited for them as well so Anyway, I will stop rambling now. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching this, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.